So the first step to making it easy to divide an old clump of crinums is getting all that foliage out of the way. So what she's doing is just chopping. So she's got a machete and she knows how to use it without getting ankle chops. And all of that foliage goes away and it'll be ready for the next step. Take about a foot maybe 15 inches I'm going to do this all the way around the bowl the third step is to shoot under this clump so I'm putting the shovel in at an angle and just cutting I'm not trying to dig now I'm just going to cut all the way around this clump angle and you see it's doing a little bit of lifting to the whole clump but I'm not trying to put a lot of pressure on it either because that would break off some of the bulbs I'm just trying to cut all of these side roots like here what I want to do is cut under the whole clump like that to release the connection between this and the earth beneath Next time around, after we've done that cutting, we're going to start to pry a little bit. So I'm going to slide the shovel in deep again, just like that, at an angle. And then, can you, can you hear it? I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I can hear those roots popping. I'm going to get it lifted out like that. Okay, now this clump is just way too big for me to flip on its own. But that would be the next step, to flip over the entire clump. Since I can't do it, I'm going to have to cut it into sections, which means I'm going to sacrifice some of my bulbs, right? Because I don't know where those bulbs are. So I'm going to cut right down the middle of some of them. Okay, so what, um, you know, I just, I have to do that in this case because this thing would weigh four or five hundred pounds and I just don't have the strength to, to flip it. Use my shovel as a pry bar, get some of the sand off it, and hopefully I can kind of lean it up in the hole. There we go. So now it starts to come apart. Right, and I can just get under it and lean it out like that. So then, the final step is just to pull these bulbs off. See, there's one that I cut right in half. So it'll come back, it'll be fine over the years. It's just damaged and gonna take it a couple of years to flower. Where these other ones, I can loosen up And that one's ready to go. That one I would plant right back in a row. Pull this off. If I were um, doing this for a landscape or in a garden, I would take a couple of these and plant them back, say 12, 15 inches apart in a little triangle like that. And at that spacing, by next summer in this garden, Maiden's Blush would make a really nice, like three foot tall clump. That's how you divide crinum lilies. And I'm Jinx Farmer. This is our lily farm in Beach Island, South Carolina.